Ow. It's awesome. Cool. Hey. Ta 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 ta. Hey. Okay. Hi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Silburn here. Um, I said, let me just come on tonight, um, just for uh, a brief moment. Uh, nice music. Well, actually, uh, good evening, Bianca and Norma. Well, actually, Bianca, that's my uh, my music, which was created for my show. Um, yeah, that, that's my music, which was created for my talk show. So um, it is custom made or specifically made for me. Um, I just want to check to see if you can hear me clearly and you can see me clearly. Uh, I'm developing some sort of um, ways of doing these things and stuff like that. Developing some new style. Uh, Facebook Live. Um, but I want to communicate. I want to um, have a discussion um, tonight. It was a... A, a, a status which I left out. Hey Norma, how are you? 
uh, a status which I put out today, and it was uh, it was saying this: What is your word to the world? What is your word to the world? Okay, what is the word that you have for this world? In a way, it's like I'm actually saying, what is one's purpose in this world? Right? What is... Is it just to be, uh, what should I say, a, a stranger passing through? Um, just a byproduct of um, sexual energy? that you're on this world um uh is it is there a purpose what is your word for this world what is my word for this world you know and that's that's really powerful just thinking about it for a second what is your word for this world because if i use that as a foundation and i use um somebody the other day say what's your favorite scripture in the bible sometimes that people are giving their different scriptures and i put it out to say that uh in the beginning was the word john and the word was god and the word was with god and the word became flesh and dwelt among men and not that you're comparing yourself with god or to say that you are the word also but what is the purpose of ourselves upon this earth and so when we go back to that sort of basic scripture that talks about the word is God and the word became, was with God and the word became flesh and dwelt among men. It's like the word transform into a reality. Think about that. The word transform into a reality. And when you think, when you, when, when you think, when you think about it for, for a bit as well, and, and this is the exciting bit, when you think about it for a bit, is that even before someone was born, um, in this world, you know, there's got to be sometimes someone thinking about it, someone thinking about it that I'm going to make a baby, uh, I'm going to create a child, I'm going to create a life, I'm going to get married and I'm going to have children and my children to be this and blah, blah, blah. So somewhat, people somewhat have spoken into our lives, spoken over our lives that make us what we are today. So therefore, this world that we're in now, this world which is this global world, this global energy, this global picture, is somewhat seeking the direction and the energy from each of us. I use the energy in that political correct term, but what I'm talking about is actually the impact that we have upon this world, the impact that we have specifically, you know? So... Uh, I, I, so, <clears throat> I want to just hear what 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 persons say in, in in that respect. Like, what is your word for this world? Of course, sometimes one sometimes is uh, don't want to share. Like, what are some of their um, their dreams and their passions or or whatever like that? But but I I think it I think it is so very crucial. I think it is very crucial because in this day and age now whereby um, things are happening, it's like the world is looking for leaders. The world is, the world is looking for um, persons that can give direction. The world is looking for the new people, new young people who are rising up, you know, and, and that is what is also crucial. So what is one's word for this world? What is one's direction? What is one's thrust? What is one agenda? I always say sometimes that um, if you don't have an agenda, somebody will have an agenda for you. And sometimes, you know, when, when people are doing things and, and um, they get into something, they get into different things that they're doing, people say, listen, I don't trust that guy and I don't trust Sibra. He has an agenda. I don't trust Mary. I don't trust Bianca. I don't trust Norma because they have an agenda. And I always say this. And this is what I, I believe, and I think you'll agree with me, that at each person must have an agenda. Because if you don't have an agenda, somebody will have an agenda for you. We must have an agenda. Or somebody will have an agenda for you. That is why one of the favorite quotes which I created, and I always use my own quotes most times, is that don't go with the flow. 
or you'll be in someone else's stream instead to create your own rivers. And when you talk about the creation of your own rivers, you're talking about um, having that creative energy, that creative spirit, that creative vibes that create new things, that make new things happen. And because of that, that makes it um, something a bit more tangible. And that comes into the whole frame of creating one's own word. Yeah, creating one's own life. I mean, I, I was listening to the, um, the, the, the parliament today and they're talking about some new changes. And, and when, you, when, you, when you think about it, they're talking about universal credit helpline changes scrapped. They're talking about the 55P that people use to call for these places they, they want to scrap it. But when you think about it for a second, all of those things happen because someone wanting to make a change. Someone speaking their words, someone speaking their life into those situations that making it changes. You got different words. You got words which are not very helpful. Like for argument's sake, Donald Trump was insensitive to the soldier's mother um, with what he said and uh, creating that rump puzzle there. You know, there, there, there's craziness with that footballer, which is any Aluka, uh, who tells the inquiry that she was asked to say that F.A. was not institutionally racist. I mean to say that she, they wanted to use her word but she actually counteracted that word by speaking um, how she feel and changing the game right there. That is what I'm talking about. What is the word that you have for this world? What is the vibes that you have for this world? What is the purpose that you have for this world? Then I break it down now. When one said, well, listen, Silver, I know you keep talking about this world, but... How can I actually change the world if I can't even change my community, if I can't even change my spheres of influence, if I cannot change my personal situation? Well, that's what the world is. The world is an interconnected metamorphosis, if something like that I could say. The world is made up of different nations. The world is made up of different countries. The world is made up of different communities. A nation is made up of different communities, right? A city is made up of different, sorry, a nation is made up of different cities. Yeah? Cities are made up of different towns. Towns are made up of different uh, communities or whatever like that. So therefore, it is talking about changing one's own spheres of influence. And when I say change, I don't use that word change very lightly because not everything that I believe needs to be changed. I think sometimes one just needs to walk into what they are about, walk into that destiny, walk into that life, walk into that purpose. Therefore, using their words, the words that they speak, word that they speak, which is life. What is your word for this world? Right. I see many different words. I see many different words that comes out each day, words which are of a negative nature, words that um, do not bring life, words that are very um, counterproductive, words which are very heavy. And then there are words which are very liberating, words which are very life, words which are very inspiring, words which are very motivational, words that drives you, words that make you want to break through this wall, words that make you um, want to fly high, you know? And then you wonder, the question is that, then what's, if, if words are so powerful, then why do they sometimes say, sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words can never harm me? And I kid you not, I believe that it's a change, right? Words, yeah, words can harm. Words are sometimes more dangerous, more defect, more effective than sticks and stones. Because with sticks and stones, break your bones, whatever, one can get healed. But words sometimes dig deep. And words which are very powerful. That is why I said, what is your word for this world? What is word? Word is comprised of different factors, different things that makes up sentences that create. It's a creative energy. That's why I say in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word became flesh, dwelt among men. In the beginning, when you speak words, you know, and I think like what Bianca says, it is self-fulfilling prophecies. 
self-fulfilling prophecies. It's like, it's, it's like that's what, um, what sometimes words are seem to be. You know? And, and, and so therefore, it, it is like, one has to make sure that one election is sure, without a doubt. You know? You know? Because in, in the way how we see the scheme of things, and, and if we look at even today regarding, um, like we're in Black History Month, you know, um, we're, we're seeing the power of words. We've seen the power of words when a teacher wrote a letter um, to ask some student in East London to actually come and dress as slaves. We see the power of word when persons actually still use the N-word. We see the power of words when people use negative things in particular situations, when people are not very um, sensitive to different things. We see the power of words. And when we see the power of words, then we realize that, hang on a second, if words are that powerful, that means to say that I need to change the game. I need to lift the game. I need to change the whole, the whole process of all things and to actually speak the words of life. Now, when one speaks the words of life, one is not saying, I believe that one has got to be um, saying only things which are, what should I say, uh, positive, uh, things which are only nice and airy-fairy, uh, you know. Things that are airy, airy fairy is uh, just just another s scope of things. Hey, Gislein, how are you, buddy? Are you there? It's just, I'm speaking about what is your word for this world. You know, what is your word for this world? That's that's the message that I'm talking about. What is your scope, your word for this world? You know, and I'm inviting. I'm inviting if there's anyone that want to come on and actually want to share what their thoughts about as to the word for this world, the word for your community, the word for your life, the word for your family, the word for your children. You know, what is that word? What is the life? What is the, the purpose? And that is, I believe, very powerful. It all boils back into the world's scheme of things. It all boils back into the world's scheme of things of uh, destiny. It all boils back into the scheme of things of identity. It all boils back into the scheme of things of resolve. It all boils back into the, in the scheme of things of sense of purpose, one's passion. That's the key thing. So therefore, everything is embroiled or embodied in purpose. I was watching David Cameron today, um, watching through some old videos of... Um, um, you know, at Question Time. I like watching Question Time. And I was watching some Question Time. I was watching his last um, uh, video. And I must say that I, I, I like watching Tony Blair at the Dispatch Box. I like watching David Cameron at the Dispatch Box. Dispatch box. I like watching, um, um, what's his name, um, William Hague at the Dispatch Box. I like watching those guys at the Dispatch Box. Because what you hear, what you're seeing a lot is words. The power of words and and words which are used to shape. And one of the things David Cameron said in his last speech was that, listen, politics can change lives. People are coming to the house. They came for a purpose because they want to change lives. They want to change destiny. They want to create better life for different persons, whether they are in um, a certain ideology or whether they have a certain thinkings or whatever like that but really and truly they came to change lives and a lot of that has to do with words 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 which are powerful words which are life-changing you know and if you check even in the bible people will say the bible is not authentic or whatever but it's just words but powerful words words of life you know um, you talk about books. Many people are writing books these days. Words. It's all words. Words, words, words. What is your word for this world? You know? And when I was delving into a bit and looking into like the, you know, something you got to think about this. Um, words is like a single distinct meaning element of speech or writing used with others for sometimes alone to form a sentence 
and typically shown with a space on either side when written or printed. Words, yeah, words, the power of words, right? And words sometimes spoken, written, remark or statement, words. What is your word for this world? Yeah? Good evening, um, Facebook, um, Instagram land. When some Campbell, my message today, which I'm talking on Facebook right now is, what is your word for this world? Your word for this world. This is something that I, I, I just want to challenge. And I tell you this, and I kill you not. You know, it was, I, I said today um, is, is my time when I speak on politics. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about black history. Um, but then what was really coming strong to me was, what is the word for this world? And I, and I keep have to sort of make that emphasis, the word for this world, because our lives are words. We are a word. We are created from the word. We are created from things. What people speak. People speak into our lives, create words that impact our lives. As Norma Jones said, words to impact. As I said, when someone said in my, in my speech yesterday, I, I said to someone, I said this. This is what I said. And this is what the person said to me. Charles Kieran, that's his name. He said, Silburn, oh Silburn, if only Silburn know who Silburn is. Silburn, oh Silburn, you know, if only Silburn knows who Silburn is. And when one listen to that, it is words which are coming in and want to transform your life. Words which are coming in that want to shape your life. Words which are coming in want, want to give you direction. Words which are coming in which are like um, a, a two-edged sword. Words which are like in the hands of a surgeon, like a scalpel. Words which are like apples in settings of silver. Words, 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 words. The power of words, ladies and gentlemen. So therefore, the challenge is this. The challenge is, is to go out there and to, without a doubt, you know, um, is, to, is to definitely, um, without a doubt, uh, you know, change the world by the word that you have. Now, I've got uh, Jislem who wants to actually be invited into the book. If that is, if that is possible, as we talk about the power of words. So I'm inviting you, Jislem, and to hear what you've got to say, my brother into this Facebook Live. So the, the invite is sent out there. Um, if anybody wants to come on, of course, on the first of the time. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you all right, bro? I'm good, man. I'm good. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, now, now ladies and gentlemen, this guy is Gislaine. Uh, some years ago, he had a, a pair of twins. And then he just had another pair of twins. <laughs> To God hey, be the glory. Amen. I'm doing Amen. good. I'm doing good. good. I'm doing good. So, yeah, so Gislaine, uh, the, the message which I was talking about today is the power of words. And and I, and I challenge it. It, it. it was challenging me today when I put that post up saying, What is my word for this world? And I, I would like you to talk. <laughs> I think I think I think the is I won't say, the word is is uh, is the first dimension and the second thing is is the integrity. Yeah. Your integrity will always speak for yourself. You always speak for the kind of person you are. You always speak for where you come from. And I've always said to people that if your integrity is untouchable, therefore you always leave a mark in your workplace, first yeah. in your family, in your community, in your workplace. Yeah. And I've always said to people like. Yes, it's not always, I mean, easy to have the perfect integrity out there. But the most important thing is, is that we always leave a good mark. Sometimes our actions speak 
for ourselves. You know, talking too much sometimes can be too, can, can result in nothing. But then when you act on it, and when you can be able to, let's say, to impart your actions into what actually you're doing, trust me, you become more significant to people's life. Yes, 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 yes. So you, you saw the, the, the bit there. Um, you know, not like what is happening now in, in society now, for argument's sake, with, um, it's like persons are sometimes like waiting for the state to do something, for politicians to do something. And it's like words which people are waiting to happen. You know, they're waiting for something mm -hmm. to happen. And, mm -hmm. and, some, and sometimes by, by virtue of such, it is like what happened to then the, the individual, the person, the creative energy is why it's like society sometimes or people is like uh, step back, waiting for something to happen instead of making it happen. You see, the reason why it's like that is because you got, in this world, you got different, you got uh, two type of, of of people, those who wait for something to happen and those who actually go to make things happen. And if you see the differences, those who make things happen are not time wasters, but those who want, are, are waiting for things to happen will be wasting your time. So if you want to, if you want to, it's, let's talk, it, this is a problem actually in the black community. We've been yeah. waiting for something, we've been waiting for someone, for a kind of a system that will benefit us. No, no, that it doesn't work like that. Government do not wait. Government acts and government work and run with those who are always willing to act. Mm. You see, you, if, you, if you look properly, every terrorism may, if you look at in, 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 in a government, if you look at the people that should work with, a heartbroken person, regardless of the character. Yeah. You might say Boris Johnson may be a, you know, you sometimes I know he does things that, that are quite difficult to first understand, but if you look this guy, record as a mayor, he was outstanding. Yes. So, yes, the problem nowadays is that we are always waiting for something that we dream about. No. A dreamer mm -hmm. is always sleeping, like you said recently in your post. So what everything is it? A, dream, a dreamer is what? What is it about a dreamer? A dreamer never wakes up. He's always thinking, thinking how he's going to eat tomorrow, how he's going to get this tomorrow. Nah, it doesn't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So for yeah. me, yeah, go on. No, no, no. It's interesting. You mentioned about the dreamer is always dreaming. But mm -hmm. isn't that counteracting a lot of motivational speakers that say dream, what's dream, 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 dream. <laughs> you know, fortune tellers are known to sell dreams for an expensive flavor. It is the yeah. same thing with much of us much of us speakers. I call them fortune tellers. You see, nowadays the influx of these type of I mean the waves of this and much of us speakers is just because it's a money making business. Speaking good, having articulate words, good speeches, you make money out of it. And we all know that. However, 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 the downside is that many people are motivated, yet they can't produce no fruits. So this mm. is a problem. So I've always said, right you have somebody that will impart in order to bring something better out of you. Or rather to have somebody that will tell you certain things, but will not show you how to make things happen. Yes. Does that make sense? So for me, again, we need to wake up because like you said, recently, once again, we are sleeping. And it is true. We are sleeping. And to be honest yeah. with you, we are daydreaming. For the past so, 40, say, for the past 50 to 50, 40 years, it's been like that. So what you're saying then, the, the dreaming is in the nighttime, and the dreaming is in the daytime. Lemon, the dreaming is in the daytime. <laughs> That's the problem because at night, if you look, when someone daydream, yes, daydreamer never accomplish anything. Yes, they they remain in the same bubble. They don't progress because there's a difference. Is that when you dream at night, at least when you dream at night, there is a bit of reflection 
because the night give advice. But the day, what's somebody that is always dreaming in the daytime? What's going on? He's not mm. active. He's not doing any productive. But a person who's doing at night, now it has a bit of conscience because the nights always bring advice. It is not just biblical, it's psychological. And that yeah. is the reason why, if you look, the reason why I say we are daydreaming is because we have a lot of good words, we have a lot of good ideas, but yet we do not produce any of them. That is daydreaming. So therefore, what you're trying to say is like what someone said, Norma Jones, that the words to impact, but there's no impact because it's all in the zone of the dream zone. Exactly. And it lacks a lot of action. And the reason why is because we, the thing is, is that it, it, it comes down to our history. Our history, we've always been uh, wanting to speak, to express ourselves, but to express ourselves with our mouth, not with our action. I want to give you a little bit of an analogy. If you look at the Asian, the Asian don't talk much. They make things mm. happen. Chinese don't talk much. They make things happen. What black people, what we do, we pay, 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 but nothing is happening. Right, 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 right. So that, so that's that's a very that's a very uh, um, powerful angle that you're coming from because, and especially that is so relevant for Black History Month at this time, whereby mm -hmm. there is this whole thrust about uh, uh, Black history. I, I I saw something which happened in the states recently, whereby for President Trump maybe said something uh, regarding this um, to this mother or whatever who lost her son, lost her husband in some in some accident or whatever in the states but what, what i saw coming out of it was that we, we tend to miss the boat i believe by jumping on with the energy to fight things which are not really that relevant because right now right. there's a massive there's a massive thrust now ah here we get trump again and i'm saying come on man come on come on <laughs> We got lots of stuff to do, and we're now jumping on to say, "Yeah, we got him." That baboon and stuff like that. And I'm saying, "Come on, come on, mm -hmm. we're missing the boat." What's our word for this world? What are we doing? What are we doing to say we're going to destabilize Trump in the sense of getting into office, get into politics, get into office or whatever like that, and make some change? I use the example. I was watching David Cameron a while ago, and um, the mm -hmm. Question Time at his last Question Time, and he gave some really. You see, they're very adversar adversar adversarial during their debates and everything. But when it comes to a certain moment, they're all together, united. And, Thank you. And, and, then, and then what that showed right there, a level of civility, whereby saying it is important that we work together. People come to the House of Parliament because they want to see a better life. They want to change lives, right? And by... And by and by virt and by virtue of is that one of your children trying to get here? I thought there were kids there. Huh? One of, one of the yeah. twins calling. <laughs> it's, the, it's the missus. The missus. She, she's. she's uh, a, I know you. I know you got to put the children to bed too. But but the, the point about it, what I'm trying to say right here, what 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 I what I'm capturing is that I think the emphasis that we're missing out on is actually utilizing the present moment and build words to sustain and to empower ourselves. As an individual, I keep saying to people all the while, never forget the individual. We keep talking about, you, you know, you know, I said, no, no, no. You have to be individual first because you, Gislein, you came out of your mama alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're going back to the grave alone. You know what I'm saying? Likewise. So therefore, when people are trying to push, I said, no, no, you have to be great individually first. And we are great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the word for the, the word? I've always said, like I told you earlier, integrity starts from self. Self-integrity is very important. And nowadays, in order for you to be able to lead people, they got to see the best in you first. You got mm. to be able to experience the best in you first before you are able to give it to others. Because yeah. nowadays, people tend to forget that charity starts at home. Yes. It doesn't start anywhere else. So if you learn how to empower yourself, therefore, it will be easy for you to empower others. Yes. You see? And now, I want to come back with, 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 your, with, with the thing about Trump. Yes, I've, I've said one thing. I've learned how to observe, how to study events 
with different angles. Yes, he might have said something that was, uh, that was quite hurtful to the lady, but in other way, that is a blunt truth. He knew what he signed up for. Every single person in the U.S. or even in the British or even anywhere in the military knows when you start, when you go to the war, when, 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 when you go to any war, yes. your life is at stake. It's simple. It was just too blunt. And I'm not trying to defend him. However, we all know right now there is a problem with the, with, with this, with the president of America that people want him out of office. And we have to look at that kind of perspective because if you look, every single person, the world, I mean, I mean, the, the, the system that we have right now, the new world order, as they call it, is against the guy, which is yes. making it difficult for him to do his work. However, yeah. now I want to come back to the black people. What are we going to do? We do not need somebody to come and help us and to show us the way. We already have the tools. We already have the mind. Like I said, we need to act. And that's what I said to you from the past couple of weeks. We talk too much. We spend our time talking too much and we do less. We need to do more and talk less. I think it's time for the black communities to realize that we wasted 30 or 40 years of our time talking, 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 requesting for freedom, and we never had it. It's mm. quite obvious. So we got to put something in place, something that we know that will be beneficial for us. And, and this will take years. This is not going to be for our generation. This is going to be for the, the younger generation. But we need to equip them. We need to help them to have a different type of mentality. And like I said, this starts from home. And this brings back to my intention to this Black History Month. And I want to say clear, I'm going to say very, I'm going to say very loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Black History Month, it is an insult to Black people. Right, mm -hmm. because personally speaking, we don't need a month to remember where we are, where we're going, yeah. or where we've been. That's just once a month. If the system or the government is like, okay, let's give the black community once a month to remember, no, we don't need that. We need to remember who, who we are every single day. We got the most authentic and real history of the whole entire universe. Yes. Until we learn how to access it, we will never know where we're going. Like I've always said to some people that I, 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 I talk to, um, if you do not know where you come from, you will never know where you're going. Yes. Simple as that. And it's you know, very simple. Yeah. So and I you know, yeah. Go, go on. on. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. So I, so I think, so I think it is time for us to put aside all the. I mean, all these things that we, we get to have the Black History Month. All the, no, no, no. We need to stop that. We need to start acting and to start putting into things into place trying to structure us things because without it we are nothing let me tell you one thing you know, earlier i told you about the chinese the way they work if you if you study the way chinese are they don't talk too much mm. they don't talk much even if you look look the economy for instance in every single part of europe chinese people don't have to speak english for them for you to for them to sell their food it's yeah. sad that for cheaper you just eat you keep on buying you keep on investing it. so this is what I'm talking about so we need to stop 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 all these great speeches and start now to put something in place but before that we need to do something we call unity until we do not know how to unite we will not go anywhere this is a problem with the black with the black community we don't know how to unite this is our biggest struggle and Let's say the system knows it. The, the system knows that black do not know how to get together. So we got to do it right now. Not for ourselves, like I said, for the younger generation that is ahead of us. You know, you know, I, while we are talking about going around in circles, I was thinking about the children of Israel when they were going around for 40 days, 40 years, going around in that circle until they got the life. And, and I strongly believe as well that, uh, as you mentioned about talking um, a lot, I believe that the time when the amount of entrepreneurs and inventors that created so much things in the universe at this moment of time, they did it during the time of oppression. They did it during the time when there was civil unrest. <laughs> they, they, they did it at the time... When, when things weren't so good during the Rosa Parks time, the Martin Luther King time, 
I, I mean, thank you. We, we've we've got so much to our disposal, so much blueprint, Gisele. We got we got so much. Like I said, but we got to listen. Physically, our DNA is like I told you, it's authentic, it's original, and they know it. Scientifically, we are proven that we can do anything, everything, if you are given opportunity. Yes. But the problem is, is that we are still slave in our mentality. Until mm -hmm. we get rid of that slavery mentality out of our system, out of our head, we will not go anywhere. And then you, you just mentioned about Israel, right? The Israelites, they did on one order, on God. God told them, you go around, move around. They acted. They were not thinking. They were not talking. They were acting. So this is the thing. Everything we've got to do, and I would like to stress about it, is what about action. It's going to be putting a plan. Before they actually start working, they had a plan. They had a vision. That vision was what? Is to conquer the land. Mm -hmm. And in that vision, they made a plan. And the plan worked after how many days? Seven days. So you, 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 see, you see here, there's, there's something they put into place. A plan of action. Not yes. a plan of thinking, not a plan of dreaming, not a plan of speeches, but a plan to act in order to conquer the land. So now, for us, yes, it is true oppression through difficult times that great things are achieved. I agree on that. Now, I will give you a little bit of history. Who built the White House? Who built the United States of America? Who built the UK? It's not us. It's the black people. Yet, we don't own it. What does that say? You, you know, that is, that is so interesting what you said because I saw a video recently. Actually, I was going to touch on this tomorrow, actually. I saw a video yesterday um, with Lawrence Fishburne and a few persons saying, we built this, we built this, we built this. We built this. And, uh, and there's lots of other videos out there to say, we've got our seal upon this. We've got our seal upon this. And then I said to myself, <laughs> as a simple child, I use a simple child mentality. Then, Daddy, if we built all of these things, why don't we own them? Why don't we have some stakes in them? Why are we claiming that we build them and we have no rights to them? Thank you. I just told you something. We are dre daydreamers. This is what daydreamers do. And you see, you can be active, but yet you not be productive. This is the thing about the, the, the primary, one of the problem again. Yes, we built it. Yes, we did so many things, but yet again, we still wreck in the bottom of society. Why? W-H-Y. Because we still do not know how to come together. We still don't know how to recognize what we have inside of us. Let me tell you one thing. Um, you see the NFL, for instance, the, the NFL issues that we have, or that kind of things. Um, if you look, the NFL makes its money uh, fraud black players, but then again, there's another side of money that we don't see. You got the advertisement, you got yes. the, the, the endorsement, you, you got all those kind of things. But yet again, how come the black system still does not have a leg of its own? Yes. That um, is a problem. So, you see, this is the thing. This is a circle issue. It is because we have not learned from the past. We want freedom, but we do not want to work for it. We do not want to preserve it. This is different between freedom and liberty. You can be free. It doesn't make you... you, you, you there's, there's a very big difference. Many people, they, 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 they have this mentality to say, oh, I'm a free man. No, 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 you're not a free man. You're yeah. not a free man. You're still a bondage. A free man is able to create his own world and flourish on it. That is mm -hmm. what I call freedom. So, so therefore, we are not even talking about children of slaves. <laughs> now, I go, I go there. I go there. I tell a wise to go there because let's look at let's look at let's let's shift something for a second. Let's shift you and myself. We are of the same mindset, but I am from the Caribbean, back to the UK, through the lineage of slavery. Now, you. Mm -hmm. Coming, you came straight from, or your your parents are from Africa, Africa, Africa. Cameroon. So, 
So, so therefore, you weren't interrupted. Your, your issue wasn't interrupted by the act of Indeed. slavery. I'm sorry? Indeed. Right. It was interrupted. Indeed. I agree with that. Yes. So, so, so you so, see, this, oh, go yeah, on, go on. On. This, is, this is, this is serious. Go on, go so, on. I'm it's a serious matter because people don't understand. They, I would say one thing. I like I said, I told us I said something earlier. I've, we need to learn how to observe, how to, let's say, see things a different angle. Yes. The slavery thing happened. Yes, it happened. Okay, it was a sad thing. It was it was one of the most I mean the most disastrous, saddest event of history of this of the universe. However, because of the slavery. We are in a full corner of the world. If you check properly, we go in America, we are in Africa, we are in the Ocean Pacific, we are some part of Asia as well. What does that say? That means there is a purpose and there's a plan behind it. But because it's a we have not learned, it's a because setup. we haven't learned. Yes. It's a setup. It's a yeah. setup. But because we haven't grasped the setup, because we haven't learned from it, and because we have not seen the bigger picture. Yeah. And we're thinking, oh, what's happening? And I've always said one thing, and I and I say to people today, to all my black African brothers, and to all my black Caribbean, you know, this thing called Caribbean, I don't know who brought it up. It should have, it's, an, it's another insult. We are black from Africa, simple. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Yes, some of you, some, some of us were taken for different to, to different places of the world for a purpose. However, we all ought to come back on one day. Mm -hmm. The mother line, it's so called the motherland. So now the problem also comes to the part of investment. Some people want to invest from, to Jamaica. Some people would like to invest to in, in Africa. Someone asked me, where would you advise me to invest? I said, well, it depends. Your home is where your heart belongs. Okay? That's the thing for sure. Your world is where your heart belongs. However, if you recognize the motherland as your place, of prosperity, therefore, go there and invest in there. I know many people from from uh, from the Martinique, for instance, a Martinique woman from from Martinique who has now investing back in Congo, and she said when she went to Congo, she she reconnected with herself. She started to learn the language, she started she she she, she learned the culture, and she fell in love with it. So yes. I think we black people we are rich, yes. but yet we still do not ha have access to our riches, which is a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, yeah. I'm, reading, I'm reading a comment here from uh, Keke Mama saying, my word to the world is that things are starting to change in the black community. Everywhere in the world, yep. we're slowly opening our eyes on how to be successful, smart, and we are ready not to let others step on us. There are still problems with our mentality but it's all coming together. And I think I agree. I mean, the voices of yourself, I myself, we, we are really shaking this whole mentality thing to say, hang on a second, let's really think through this properly. You know, even when sometimes I hear the word, like what you said, we are not coming together, we are not united, we are not. But then at the same time, you've got to balance it out by saying, let's break down the demographics. Let's break down who are we really talking about. Are we talking about black Americans? Are we talking about Black Caribbeans? Are we talking about Ethiopians in the UK? Are we talking about Somalia? Are we talking about Nigeria? So everything is in this box, but everybody's, it's, it's not united because everybody is united in their local sphere. But the bigger picture is, I think there needs to be a joining of the dots. Um, That's what I told you. We need to see the bigger picture. You see, let me tell you one thing. Um, there's one thing that the Chinese are doing right now. Okay, they have one thing where they are not allowed to have more than three children in the countries, but they are allowed to have more than three children in different countries. Why mm. is that? Cool. Check it out. Simple. It's because they are now they know economically the world depends on them. With that China right now, the world is a, is a dead is a dead place. So they know now, okay, in order for us to become bigger, we need to go everywhere. We need to pump as much as we can and let's see what was going to happen in the next 10 years. And that's what they are doing. 
And that's the reason, and this is something that also is happening in Africa, but no, we're not doing it in a different part of the world, we're doing it in, in, in Africa. And this is going to be very disturbing because I'm going to share this information. It's about the Big Gates Foundation. The Big Gates Foundation in Africa right now is what? Is to, uh, the, the wife has come up with this thing they call their, they have a sort of a way, they, they want to stop the, the, the breath growth in Africa for a purpose. Okay. okay? okay. It, it comes across as a generous offer, but according to the deal of the devil. So there's a there's a there's an agenda behind it. However, this is a different subject. So I just want to give you a little bit of a breakdown on that. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to let you know is that our culture is authentic, is original, and the world knows it. Our ways are different, is original, and the world knows it. Our history is the most one of the most I won't say the richest. Is one of the most significant and most important history on this planet. Mm. Yet, it has been interrupted. Why? That's the bigger question. And the reason I, I won't say the why because you know we on Facebook Live. And, uh, it, it, this thing we we need to meet up. You know, first once again, first first we can I, I can't be able to 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 release information freely. But I just want to give a, an encouragement to black people out there. It is time for us to rise, to wake up, and uh, to start pulling things together. Not for us, but for the younger generation. And, and, and I think, go ahead, okay. go ahead. Sorry, Chen, go, go on. No, keep going. Yeah. So you see, and I think, and I think that there is a very strong awareness right now in America. It's happening, but in America, the problem we have in America is too much talking. Too much of yap. So we need to start talking. We need to start acting. In France, it's happening. Right now, the, 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 a lot of black French people are they breaking up strongly. And trust me, they are not they are not messing around. And you have the one in the UK. The one in the UK, we are still shy. We are still afraid to speak of the system that is oppressing us silently because we are eating crops. And this is a problem. And this system in the UK, what they've done is, it's okay, we're going to give you a sort of a, you know, type of a recognition, so you don't talk. But right now, the UK is not as good as you think. We're still struggling as, as black people in the UK. We still are. I will give you one example, and this covers is some of the, I will give you the knife crime, for instance. Where is a knife crime happening the most? Where is what? The knife crime. You know the knife crime we have? Yes, yes, knife crime, yes, yes. The, the drug dealing thing that we have, you know, how come we always have drug dealers? I mean, drug into our our our, our estate. How can we have knife getting into our estate? Why? There is a big question. So we need to we need to look at things in a different angle now because, mm. like I said, we're not fighting people. We're fighting a system, a system that has been put into play for the past four and for the past five and four hundred years. And to fight our system is <laughs> going to take us a long time, but mm. it is possible that we get it done. Mm. No, that, that's that's powerful, and I, and I believe also it is believing one's in oneself first at the same time, understanding the power which is within us, the greatness. Mm -hmm. As as they say, um, we've got to take it like this. Like you remember Daniel, Shadrach, and the bad Negro. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. They were in captivity. They mm -hmm. were slaves. But they had mm -hmm. one thing, which is called an excellent spirit. An excellent spirit. And that excellent spirit came with the integrity, with the knowledge of God, the knowledge of self, of knowing who they are. Mm -hmm. That the excellent spirit actually was what opened the doors for them. And I believe that is something that we as black people have got to understand and that is why I, 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 my, 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 my special last night was um, understanding who you are. When you come to yourself, yeah. the, the man, mm -hmm. the, 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 the two brothers, um, the prodigal son, one went, mm -hmm. one stayed home. But one thing that they mm -hmm. had, they were heirs to their father's plantation or their father's property. 
So while the other mm -hmm. one who spent off all his money, he sat down in the pig's pie, pig's ten, pig's pig style, whatever, eating swines and everything. And then guess what? This is what the Bible says. He came to himself. <laughs> That's, right. He came, That's right. He came to himself. And then he recognized after, something after all that time. Hang on a second. Thank you. He came to himself. And that is and that, that is always something which is powerful enough. When a man or a woman come to themselves and understand who they are. I rest my case right there. This is the thing. It is, <laughs> you know what? As again, you see, everything always come back to the biblical side. Why does it always come back to the biblical side? Because we already have the biblical side written in our heart. All we've got to do is to apply it. And I've always said one thing uh, is that, like I told you at the beginning of, 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 of the conversation, you will never know where you're going if you do not know where you came from. Yeah. Okay. The young man, as you can see, he, or, he understood, whoa, back my father's mansion, I yes. have this, I'm a king. Therefore came the realization for him to understand, whoa, this is not me. Let me go back to reason. And what did he do? Yes. He went back to reason. So I think now, right now, we black people, the one thing I would say is that it's not just about to recognize who we are. It is also to know where we are going. Going. Because you see, this is the thing. You may recognize where you are, you may know where you are, but you still don't know where you're going. That means you have no purpose. So what is our purpose? Where is our yeah. purpose leading us? You see what I'm saying? So a man that has no purpose is good as dead. Mm. Right now, we need to find out what, our what is our purpose. Not just our purpose to be free, but what is it? What is the reason why we're on this earth? For? And until we grasp that in our system, we're not going anywhere. Look, mm. I would give you one simple example. Right? Every single person, especially from, from the Asian countries that come to Europe, okay, they have a purpose. Mm. When they come with a purpose, they know what they know what they're doing. They give themselves five to ten years. They go back home. That's what the Chinese are doing. The Chinese will never invest when they have the money. It's like when they, they plant it here, they will be back home. When they get the fruit, they take it back to China. That's what they do. That is why everything that they make, they make it at home. They don't make it anywhere else. Yes, 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 yes. Everything is home grown product, and that is why I always say to black people, have your own brand your own mm. product because you've got the capacity, you have the ability to create. So you use your brain, your knowledge to create something, not just for yourself, for your community. Mm. Mm. Until we learn, it's, it's, everything covers, everything summons up everything. So this is, the, this is the thing. And I think, and I think for me, and I've always said, this is the same thing I give to my kids. I, I'm teaching my daughters how to understand who they are, how to be, be able to, to express themselves in confidence. So nobody will come and talk and tell me nonsense. Yes. And one of them, you she knows, she knows her worth. She knows she's intelligent. She knows she's a strong young black lady and she knows where she's going. And and the most important thing as well, she knows where her father is. Oh uh, yeah, well for, that that without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> she, I'm never, I don't question it. Because yeah, yeah. because you see you see Sometimes you reflect your dad with your actions. You don't yes. have to talk. Yes. Your, your yes. action will just will just just be there. This is a, this is a, this is a this is a daughter's father. Wow, she's just like a dad. Not by the way she looks, by the way she's acting, by the way she's talking, by the way she 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 undertake things. And this is why I always say this is leadership. Leadership starts at home. And thankfully, I have a wife that always you know tells me, "Yo, what about home?" And funny enough, today we had a conversation about it. You know what I mean? So what I want to stress today is those of you who are listening to me from Jamaica, from America, from wherever that is, for every single part of the world, just let it sink in in your head. It's time for you to wake up from your dream. Right. That's And that's a powerful point, a powerful angle to leave it there. 
wake up from your dream. Because Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King even said this. My eyes have seen the glory. I mean to say he was dreaming, he saw the dream, but then he took him to the mountaintop and he has seen it. You understand? Literally. Mm -hmm. And that was a point where I believe that he recognized that it's time to go. They always say that the yep. man who the man who is awake is more dangerous than the man who dreams. That is when I that is why that is why when I speak sometime and I give an motivational talk, I say, What's your dream? What's your dream? What's your dream? But then I go right after and say, Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Because it makes no sense to keep dreaming. You've got to put you gotta wake up in the morning, put on your clothes mm -hmm. and comb your hair, mm -hmm. fresh up or whatever like that. It's all about action, isn't it? What you what you mentioned, action, action station now. Constructive action. We need to be very wise about it. Yes. Very, I mean, I mean, everything has to be constructive, and it has to bring significant result. Because without yes. a significant result, there will be no impact. Yes. Well, my so, brother, so yeah. That's what it is. Well. Well, thank, well, thank you for having me, bro. Yeah, well, thank you for, for coming on. And um, definitely, I think that sums up the, the, the talk tonight. But I hope the message really goes through that um, the, there's new voices which are coming up. We talk a lot, but there's a need for new voices to come up to stare. We can't keep with the same voices that is of a victim mentality because I'm not a victim mentality. I keep saying that to people all the while. I see solutions. I see obstacles as potential solutions. I see challenges as right. making my muscles getting stronger, you know? Mm -hmm. and, I see, and, I, and that is something which I dare and I challenge my people about as much as possible. So you will not see me in certain avenues or certain spheres of discussions because I'm seeing breakthrough. Likewise, you, my brother. And that is what we need to get our people to know that we are breakthrough. We got excellent spirit and we are taking over. <laughs> yeah, we, did. we are taking over. Amen. We are definitely taking over. <laughs> yeah, the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. And that's one thing we need to know. When you have God on your side, you can be against you. And especially yes, yes. where you are under his will. Yes. When you are under the will of the Father, nothing can touch you. That is yes. a secret that the Israel understood. They learn how to yield on the will on the Father. That's why yeah. they were so successful. I'll leave you there. So and, guys, and, and be blessed. All the best and take care of the twins. Well, double twins. <laughs> it's a double <laughs> twin. We try, we try. Double, double win. Sleepless you know I mean? nights. Nice. Easy. Thank Sleepless nights. Nice. Be blessed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank be you very blessed. much, Gisling. All the best. Peace, peace buddy. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard um, um, Gislem there for a moment, and and I uh, want to thank him so much for coming on. And the opportunity is here for other people to come on at some other time. But I just want to wrap up now and just want to say that, as you can see, what we were talking about was um, what is your word to this world, and and that is the most important thing now. What is your word to this world? And and before I go, I just want if what, what I just want you, if you, if you listen to the, the full discussion, is to write down what is your word to this world. That is, if you've got a vision or you've got something or there's a passion, you just write that down. What is your word to this world? Not what is your word to this world, but what is it? You know? And as we mentioned before, that it is time to wake up from the dream and start to have creative and productive actions okay well anyhow i'm still burning city and i approve this message i want to thank you so much for joining remember to subscribe to my uh silver and tv silver and tv which is on youtube uh just go to youtube subscribe to my channel filming is kicking off back very soon as much as possible we're gonna get gizlem on the show with him new guests and everything i want to really uh step it up to a next level an next dimension actually in the show uh uh, we, we've got to move away from just entertainment and nice words and airy fairy thing, but to get into some deep meat of some issues, right? I believe that the UK is a land of dreams and opportunity. 
uh, it's not just America, which is a land of dreams and opportunity, but I believe that the UK also is a land of dreams and opportunity. You can make that opportunity based on the vision, based on the word which you have or which you have in your heart, and that we have the great potential, ladies and gentlemen, which is within us. That's what I believe, and that's what I want to impart, and that's what I want to share. So at the end of this video, if you watch it, just type, um, what is your word to this world? You must have a word to this world. You must have something to give this world, to give your children, to give your neighbor, to give your community. Okay? Thank you very much. So as I said, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Thanks for the ladies and gentlemen who's on Instagram or have stayed. I do appreciate that. And uh, thanks as much as possible for people on Facebook. Thank you so much. And for those on replay, thank you so much. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Silver and TV, Silver and City, the only one in the world. There's none like me. Okay? And that's a reality, actually. If you go onto YouTube, type Silver and City, you want to find the only person like myself there. That is how God has created for the brand. Okay? So peace out. Love you. And see you tomorrow night where we're going to have a Black History Month special. And remember the specials I have, the challenge. The challenge that I've done for Black History Month is not rice, peas, tomato, whatever. <laughs> it's not about um, whatever. It's simply about instead of Black History Month being once per year, for a month, let's have it once per week. Once per week, teach your children. Once per week, teach yourself. And let us empower ourselves with knowledge of black history, history, our history from our story, okay? Once per week, per year, once per week, per year, instead of once per month, per year. And someone asked me the question, how long should this be for? And this was my answer, a lifetime, okay? A lifetime, let it be for a lifetime. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much and see you around for this. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.